Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and, well, we had Eggman fire a laser at the moon, blew it up in half, but according to Shadow, uh, people, even though they saw that, they refused to surrender. And so in this episode, we're going to go ahead and uh, chase after Tails here because he's chasing after the president, so we're chasing after him. Uh, I think the main reason that we're chasing after him is because uh, Eggman got that newspaper uh, that was talking about how in Sonic Adventure 1, Tails saved Station Square from... I'll keep crashing into things here. Uh, how Tails saved the people of Station Square uh, from, you know, Eggman that one time, and so they're like, hey, here's a Chaos Emerald. Uh, kinda doesn't make sense if you want to really, like, think about it and be like, well, Knuckles had six of the Chaos Emeralds, uh, at this time, and the seventh one was over in the, in the, uh, Mystic Ruins, so this doesn't really make sense. And yeah, you're technically right, uh, and I suppose they could have given it to him after the whole, you know, game was over. But that would mean that they rebuilt the entirety of Station Square between Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, which we aren't really given an, an idea of how long, how much time passed between the two games. Uh, in Sonic X, which I know isn't canon by the way, but in that game, they say that, you know, just like a couple of minutes passed between the two games. Uh, but I don't know, I guess they rebuilt Station Square in between these two games and a more time passed than we think. Uh, and and they decided to give Tails one of the Chaos Emeralds, which he used to make that fake Chaos Emerald that we see uh, during the hero story and the one that Sonic tries to give to Eggman. Uh, I'm thinking of completely unrelated. I'm thinking of uh, changing my intro a bit. You know, the thing where I say, hello guys and welcome to TG and the Game Nerd, you, you know that. I'm thinking of changing that a bit because I feel like it might be too long. I'm just crashing into every wall here. I'm thinking of changing that because I think it might be a bit too long because it takes me a full on like 15 seconds to fully introduce the video. That might be too much. I still want to keep like a sort of formal intro and I'm not really sure how to do that, but still keep like the essence of my intro that I'm doing now. Uh, so if you guys have any have any ideas of that, I'll be brainstorming, of course, on my own on how to make my intro a bit shorter. Also, I think we're coming to the end of the level here. But yeah, I'll be brainstorming on how to make a new, you know, good intro that doesn't take up so much time. Uh, but yeah, I believe in just a second we'll see the tornado pop into the distance right there. There it is, right up there. That brings us to the end of Route 101, or Route 280, excuse me. Route 101 was the name of the, uh, of Tails' actual level. Shadow, they're in that blue plane. Spotted at 11 o'clock. Copy that. I'm in pursuit. Sky Rail. This is, interestingly, uh, Shadow's version of, I think it was the final level of Sonic's stage, where it's all about rail grinding. Also, I believe uh, Shadow's voice lines are sort of echoed in this area because, you know, it's a canyon. I should have just gone on the dash pads. I don't know why I didn't. You can get some crazy air in these games if you know how to abuse the physics system properly. I can't do it as well as I can do it in Sonic Adventure 1 where whenever I'd play a Sonic level I could just spin dash all around and, you know, time it just right so that I, that I could go flying. But, you know, you could still uh, do that in this game, which I think is super fun. One of my favorite things about 
uh, Sonic games. Speaking about like physics and momentum in Sonic games, which is kind of what we're talking about there, uh, Sonic Frontiers is getting a bunch of updates soon. It's recently gotten, whoops, uh, I think it's gotten one up. It's gotten one update already, which added in like the jukebox and photo mode and like challenge mode and stuff like that, which is all super cool. And it you know made one certain infamous part of the game a lot easier. But uh, it's getting some new updates soon. I don't think the second update has come out already. Uh, maybe it'll have been an, it's up its release date will have been announced by the time I uploaded this video. But recently, or recently, yeah, recently it's been confirmed that, uh, you know, they're putting the spin dash into Sonic Frontiers, which is cool, because we haven't really, uh, seen, excluding Sonic Mania, we haven't seen, uh, a, a, the spin dash in a Sonic game in, like, ten years, or at least a mainline Sonic game. And even if you want to include Sonic Mania, it's been six years. Granted, that's because there haven't really been too many mainline Sonic games since then. Because the only canon games that we've gotten are like, since Sonic Mania, we've gotten Sonic Forces, uh, the Encore mode that they added into Sonic Mania, which is still just Sonic Mania. Here we go. And then like Team Sonic Racing, and that's it before Frontiers. But yeah, there's Skyrail. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What should we do? That was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves! Did you really think you could get out of here on our Come and get some, Eggman! Just leave it to me! This time, I'll take one. As well as the Chaos Emerald, I call on you to destroy these pests! Come out, my servant! So yeah, we actually get to fight the Egg Golem as, uh, or Golem, or however you want to pronounce it. We get to fight it as Eggman, which is very different from what we've seen before. And now we need to find a different way to attack it, and that of course is by shooting it. When I say different, I mean different as in we haven't fought the Egg Golem like this before, or Golem, or however. I'll just say whatever comes to mind first. It's kind of hard, at least for me, I don't know why the depth perception is so weird with its fists. It, it always looks like it's going to, to the left way more than it actually does. Oh, there's the end of the egg golem. I did that quicker than I thought I would.
Green light for launch. Primary engine ignition on. Beginning liftoff countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shuttle liftoff. Doctor, how's it going? What? What do you mean they escaped? That's okay. I will go after them myself. Can you tell me the password for the space colony control? <laughs> Tricking that old doctor is just too easy. All right, it's time to get to work. The password is Maria. Maria, hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh well. This is it. Research Project Shadow. The ultimate life form. Let's see now. What in the world is this? This can't be right. Just what is Shadow, anyway? Hmm, I guess I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald. Ugh, mad space. Okay, this is what everyone's been waiting for. You see that hint right there? Uh, I so a box surrounded by red lights, okay. Uh, all of the hints are either lying to you or backwards, so... If something is like, if it looks like it's a jumble of text, that's because it's actually just backwards, a low place. So this, if it's written correctly, that means it's lying to you, so it's actually in a high place. Uh, this level, I always forget how to traverse around it. It's not in a box on a platform under the inverted tower, so that means it is. It's in a box on a platform under the inverted tower. Okay. So... Great music, by the way, but that's every single level in this game, so... When the only compliment I can give to a level is that it has good music, that doesn't really mean anything. So... I need to remember how to get around to different planets. So... Rocket right here... Is there a... Oh, there's a rocket over here that I can go ahead and use. Okay, Planet 2. This weird... Place... Uh... Oh! Upgrade. Iron boots. Okay, so now we can break open iron crates. I remember during Hero Story I had a weird, like, dilemma about what type of metal this was made of. I'm just gonna say iron because, you know, they're iron boots. They're made from breaking iron. This planet, uh, a tube, uh, just to get my mind off of this level sucking. Uh, speaking of planets and, and space and stuff like that, I really want to get around to Let's Playing uh, Mario Galaxy, uh, because that is probably my favorite video game of all time. Uh, I just need to get around to uh, getting my Nintendo Switch uh, like recording software set up on my uh, computer up here in my room. Uh, because then I can just play the Mario uh, 3D All-Stars version and just have a fun time with that. Alright, so this is where I forget exactly how to get to each planet. Because I'm supposed to get to that half planet over there. But in order to do that, I need to... Maybe if I just fly far enough... Nope, it just wraps around. Probably should have expected that. Oh, maybe... There we go. So now we're up here. This is kind of like uh, Knuckles's. Come on, get up here. It's like Knuckles' space level, but even more annoying because at least Knuckles' level was easy to get around. Like, it was annoying, don't get me wrong, but 
you know, at least it was pretty simple. It was just tedious. This one is, I always forget exactly how to get around here. And so, it's just not that fun. I notice I'm being super negative on pretty much, pretty much all of the treasure hunter stages. And I've come to appreciate them a bit more when it comes to, you know, at least with the treasure hunting levels. I've come to appreciate the appreciate them a bit more. Uh, they're better when you have like a general idea of how to... I messed that up. They're better when you have a general idea of how to get around the level quickly. Um, but that's not the best when... It's not necessarily the best when it comes to these levels because they're not very linear like Sonic's levels. And so... Where is this damn thing? So, a box surrounded by red lights. Okay, a low place, so it's a high place. It's not a box on a platform under the inverted tower. What is the inverted... Oh, uh, it's probably that. Box underneath the inverted tower. And it went green once I went under there, so... This is gonna be a level where I'm at cutting around a lot. So, my apologies for that, but you know what? Episode's getting pretty long anyway, so... Wait, is it here? Is this really under the inverted tower? I thought the inverted tower was this thing over here. It's by it, and it's... Well, it's... Uh, I guess it's technically underneath a part of the inverted tower. I don't know. C come on, I was gliding into the wall. I should have been able to stick to it. But yeah, I'll, I'll cut around this level so you guys don't have to deal with this madness you get it because it's mad space okay I have, a f I have a feeling that uh this box right here is where it's supposed to be but when i get close to it you know it's red it's flashing but i'm not sure how to break it because it's floating there so that makes me think that i'm not supposed to break it that it's just supposed to be there because they give you the but like every time I try to dive down I can't jump and hit it I'm highly considering restarting the level to get a better you know what? I'll do it Meteorite with grass. Okay, that actually helps. So, looking for a meteorite with grass. There we go. Oh, top of the capsule. Meteorite with grass. Okay. Is this the bottom, then? Because I'm not getting any beeps. Wait, that's not the... Oh, there it is. That's, that's kind of weird how that's considered the top. I, I think this is the bottom, just because the way it's generally laid out. But, you know what? Either way, I'll take it. Where all of the lights gather. Where all of the lights gather. Okay. Here we are getting real close and we're getting real close to the end of the level all right what do you have to say mr. hint okay it's in a wall under a star symbol on a yellow platform with lights wall platform star symbol lights got it let's look for the platform with the star symbol and lights first so this isn't it, clearly. Oh, this would appear to be it. Wall, though, obviously. No! There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and 
uh, continue on to hopefully a less annoying level. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I'm ashamed to call myself a hunter.